I'll close this part here and let's go to order entry and in order entry let's take a look at a couple of uh, sales orders let's take the first one here uh, incess or we'll go that's a, actually a quote we can, it'll change quotes as well let's go back to this uh, customer here let's pick uh, ace or any other customer we want uh, Ontario Sound Emporium um, let's take the ship to tax and shipping you see it's GST and PST their address here is Ontario so what we're gonna do first is let's close this part down we'll close one thing I'd like you to see is if we go back to the business edition folder where my data files are stored under demo and list them by modify date you're gonna see a tax changes log file if I double click on this you're gonna see that these are the customers that I have changed ace all the way down to Winston um, customers that have not been changed will not be in the uh, in the file only ones that have changed okay I'll close this part here we'll close again we'll invoke the sales tax change utility again and this time we're gonna sign back in and we are going to change sales orders for sales orders that are GST and PST in Ontario I'm gonna change the sales tax for sales orders and quotes so what this basically means for all orders sales orders and quotes that are in Ontario which have GST and PST I'm gonna change those to HST I'm gonna click OK and the progress bar goes up again if I hit yes to proceed is going through all my orders picking which are Ontario and GST and PST again it says the, tail, the sales tax change have been made successfully and I can view the log under the change log I'll hit OK and in the change log let's go back there again to take a look business vision my data folder and tax change log it has changed orders 700501 up till and including 700515. Let's go back into Sage Business Vision again and let's review those orders. entry and let's pick the first order on the list we saw that as 70501 if I'm not mistaken this ship to here is in Alberta therefore it hasn't changed but if I go to the one on the list which says 70501 we'll see here this has changed to HST because the address for this order is in Ontario Okay, likewise, to go to the last order on the list, which is 15, 700515, and this customer is in Ontario, therefore the taxes have now changed to HST. Okay, likewise, if I have to rerun the utility for other provinces like Alberta, Vancouver, uh, BC, Quebec, um, Saskatchewan, I can do so, uh, specifying that province and specifying the uh, uh, GST, PST, and HST. I'll close this down. The last thing that we need to do is view and modify the purchase orders. So if I click on the purchase order module, you're going to see here that I have a few purchase orders in here. And if I go underneath the order details, I have GST and PST. Let's say, for example, I want to mod this, modify this for HST. I'll close and verify my address for my uh, suppliers is Ontario I'll close and we'll invoke the sales tax change utility again if 
for Ontario for my purchase orders that are GST and PST. I'm going to change them to HST and change taxes for open purchase orders, OK, hold, and standing statuses. I'll click OK again. The changes are made to the customer sales order and purchase orders. Do you wish to proceed? I'll say yes. Again, it's going to go through all my purchase orders in the system for the Ontario purchase orders with GST and PST. My intention is to make them HST. I'll hit OK and review the tax change log again, which tells me uh, my purchase orders in Ontario with GST and PST, which is 0001 and 0002. My intention is to change them to 0003 for those purchase orders I have listed here. It says the update is completed successfully. I'll go back into Sage Vision again. And we'll review the purchase orders. I'll log in. Open up the purchase order module. And we will now see that the first purchase order on our list was 84. Ship to Ontario, the one prior. Ontario as well. All of them have changed. So the change, the change log shows me all these purchase orders here. All of them have changed to HST. So as you can see, Sage makes it very easy for you to change your customers, customers ship to's, sales orders, and purchase orders to HST compliance. Um, very important thing to do to reiterate is to make sure you have a backup of your data files before proceeding. Uh, make sure everybody's logged off the system before making a backup and to do a test run if applicable uh, before uh, seeing the results uh, firsthand um, instead of going live. Thank you very much.